So here we have the Jujube Core Convertible in Perfect Petals. This is the newest all-in-one diaper bag from Jujube. I packed it up with all the normal things that I have on a daily basis for my five-year-old and my three-year-old. I'm also a childminder, so I have one-year-olds as well. Um, this is like my general going out bag. Um, first impressions, really loving the bag, loving the colour and the print um, and the material is just as great. I'm, at, I'm pleasantly surprised by the um, hardware and the faux leather um, pullers. I prefer the um, more expensive touch of the proper metal hardware on the um, old sort of jujube bags but it actually suits the bag it's kind of light and summery which i like um yes it's a little bit more like every other diaper bag but it still has a little bit of charm i think it still has the jujube charm and i was um pleasantly surprised by the label um it doesn't look as bad as in some of the stock photos um the the backpack straps and the, which change into like messenger and everything um i haven't had a massive play around with but you kind of have to um adjust them quite a bit so you can make it backpack and then of course it's going to pull through like that so i haven't actually played around with that yet but that i mean it's a, it's a good idea it will be interesting to see how it works after a full day of using it so i might check back with you and say see how i get on with that um so i have put the changing pad that comes with it in the back i don't often use change pads but it's there for a bit of extra padding and it's so light i mean it basically weighs nothing but it's still a little bit of padding my main use for these is usually for a seat if we're sitting on the grass or something like that um for a picnic um but yes yeah, so it's kind of in the middle of a full memory foam one and the light ones that you get with hobo bees and things um so it's pretty lightweight which is good but it still provides a bit of packing for the back when it's in, in this back pocket here and it just about fits you can just about see it so i was like a little bit disappointed that this pocket wasn't just a tiny bit deeper for that reason um and then at the front tech pocket which is where i would have my phone my phone is what I'm recording with. Up comes the flap, um, and I have put the medium size pouch that the bag comes with, um, and I'll show you what's in there in a second. There's also this zippered part here, um, this is insulated so you can put food in here. It's kind of not that wide um i filled the main part of the bag up quite full so i don't think i'd be able to fit much in there maybe like a sandwich some snacks um but not much really and then you've also got this slip pocket here which is just one pocket it's not that is not a pocket in there that you can't really see um but yeah there's one here and it's just about goes all the way to the bottom of the bag you could probably slip um, this would probably fit in there actually if you wanted to, or the smaller one. Um, it's just I filled the main part of my bag quite full, which is what I tend to do. Um, there's no bottle pockets on the sides, they're inside. I'll show you those in a second. Um, this is like my main grab um, pouch. It has like things that I often need quite quickly. So that's why I put it in the outside pocket. Um, so I'll go inside. The zippers are not as smooth, but they're not terrible, they're not like really sticky. So this is how I've packed my bag up on this first go. So the first thing that really annoyed me was that this zip pocket here did not fit the changing pad, because that was my first idea to put it in there. Um, but it's not quite deep enough, and it's also not quite deep enough for the largest of the pouches. So I have to put it in there without zipping it. I mean, if I folded it a bit, you could zip it. So I'm probably not going to use that one um, for that, but it was just a nice place to put that. Um, this one, the large um, pouch, I've just put 
a couple of nappies in there and I would probably put a pack of wipes in there as well so that I can basically instead of a quick it's about the same size as a quick slightly different shape but it, I really like it I like that they're quite slim I will compare all these bags with whatever you want me to compare them with quicks and set pieces and all those kinds of things um, and also I'll do a, like a large bag comparison as well like with the sporty and be packed and things um, so in the back I've just got a packet of wipes um, some metal straws in their pouch I've put the bot two of these small Sistema bo bo uh, bottles in which are in these insulated bottle pockets at the side there's one on each side and they are insulated sorry you can't really see um, when I've got my camera set up um, and then we've got a reusable bag and the small pouch and in the small pouch I've just put some tissues and antibacterial wipes they're really cute though um, I kind of feel like the labels maybe they didn't need to put the label on the small one because it looks a bit kind of higgledy piggledy whereas the like faux leather one is a bit smarter and that's they've got that on these two I'm not sure why they didn't put it on the smallest one to match or just left it blank like they do on the set pieces but I don't know but they all have two uh, d-rings so you can use the straps on all three of the pouches um, and it comes with um, a long one and a small one. Oh, sorry two like wristlets so you get two wristlets and then you get one long strap which I think is the same as a as you get in the sets it's not adjustable so we'll see because they're always too long for me I'm not that tall and they're always too long for me but can be adjusted I'm sure some way um, and then in the base of the bag I've got my um, medium be organized which oh, i can't remember the name of the print now it's watercolor something i think it's whimsical watercolor yeah i think so um no no oh, that's the other one isn't it oh, i'm not sure um with the wet bag a small be organized and then this is where i keep my changes of clothes for my children um and a mini fuel cell packed up with loads of snacks in all varying forms so I did put quite a lot in there, plus there was loads of space at the top for like cardigans, blankets, all the extra bits that I kind of throw in at the uh, just before we go out. Key fob, um, which is just, it's not elasticated or anything, it's just that piece of material, same colour as the backpack straps. Um, yes, I definitely need to try out the backpack straps properly um, when I get a chance. But it's quite cool. I do like that way that you can kind of just immediately wear it cross body or like over the shoulder immediately. Plus you've got the grab handle um, and then you can use um, the, I guess you could use the thin strap here for these D-rings as well on the sides. Although you've got your, buck, your cramp hooks for that as well, which it comes with. Um... So yes, I'm looking forward to trying out how to use the backpack straps because I think you kind of have to pull it down first like that and then you can make it even longer. So it's got quite a few ways to adjust it because um, I often use backpack because when my buggy's full I have to do that. Um, but I do like the print, I think it's really pretty. I love the shape of the pouches, including, even if it's just for that, I love them. They're, they're going to be, oh, I'm going to use this with olive rose and some of the other rose gold um, line. I really want to get another colour in this bag, just so I can get more pouches. <laughs> they're an expensive way to do it, but um, yes. So I'm going to um, sign off for now and then hopefully do a review of different bags to compare it with for colours and sizes. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.